You had some findings as well and from some of that research to share with uh, our viewers here this evening? We did. Um, for the past couple of years, we have done multiple tests, um, checking the width of the product, the profile of the product to be able to make sure we're maintaining a good coefficient of variation. Uh, from the tests we've done throughout the Midwest and the southern states, uh, we found some good results. Uh, one of the customers that uh, I've worked with in southern Illinois, um, a service provider there, offering both services, both uh, injection uh, with a toolbar as well as broadcasting products. Uh, visiting with him on how his results came out. Broadcasting, uh, what we were finding there, uh, tremendous efficiencies in productivity. Uh, with the different products that we had tested, uh, starting out with, in his operation, his broadcasting capabilities, he's broadcasting at 90 foot spread widths. And his toolbar, with the current size of his toolbar, is a 40 foot spread width, or 40 foot working width. Mm -hmm. And with the differences in speeds of what he's able to work with, the broadcasting, he's running at speeds from 12 mile per hour to 20 mile per hour, with an average of about 15 mile per hour as an average, where his toolbar application, he's about an eight mile an hour speed there. So with the differences in speed and the differences in spread width allows him to cover many more acres throughout the day. In yeah, the, there's an the, example. Tell us, show us what we're, or explain what we're kind of looking at there for our viewers here when you talk about putting that together with the hour, the acres and, and, uh, and the speed. With the speed and the widths of what he's operating at, the potential that he has covering a 90 foot spread width at the speeds he's running, he's able to cover about 130 more acres per hour by broadcasting this product because of the, the characteristics of the product that allows it to broadcast much wider. Being able to cover more acres per day, if you start looking at the number of days that you're applying product, that's a, a big difference as well. With the application and what he's doing, there's many variables as far as tendering the product, uh, the distance of travel from job to job, the mm -hmm. speeds that he's able to operate in. So his average day is about an 800 acre per day broadcasting where his toolbar application is about 300 acres a day. Looking at that there, visiting with him, this past year in his overall application, he'd done approximately 15,000 acres, a little more than 15,000 wow. acres between the two. With that there, looking at broadcasting, he's looking at that as around 18 days to cover that 15,000 acres versus the toolbar, was going to be an additional 33 days to do the same amount of coverage. When we talk about the number of days that it's taking, now we start looking at the efficiencies in fuel cost and fuel operation. Sure. Differences between the two of broadcasting as well as the, the knifing or the toolbar application, the fuel usage is tremendous. From what he was seeing, the amount of fuel used per day, the cost per acre, being able to cover the total 15,000 acres broadcasting versus uh, application with the toolbar was going to be about 11,000, over $11,000 savings in the overall cost covering that 15,000 acres. Well, so there's again the savings of savings of time, obviously, and the fuel savings. I mean, it just seems like it's a win-win. Seems to me. From those test results and what he was saying, it's definitely an alternative to those that are looking for another way of broadcasting. As Josh shared, the, the short conditions we had in the spring, the need to be able to cover more acres per day, yeah. this is definitely an alternative for those that are equipped with toolbars, um, they're, they're ready to go out and do their job. But those that are flexible are looking at ways to improve productivity and efficiencies. Broadcasting um, Super U or, or Agritain treated ureas mm -hmm. is definitely an alternative. When you, uh, I'm curious, when you share information like that to, uh, to customers, that you talk to in Iowa, you know, what's their reaction? Are they are they you know, are they buying into all this? And they say, "Wow, that, that I, I can I can make that work. That makes sense in my operation." Well, first off, it's explaining what has changed in technologies from broadcasting, from what people previously felt as broadcasting was done. With the changes in the G4 spreader um, versus what we had previously. Uh, today, we have a fixed delivery point where product coming from the conveyor to the broadcast system is a fixed delivery point. So no matter whether they're running at 5 mile per hour speeds or 25 mile an hour speed, that product is being delivered at the same point onto a broadcast system, which now is an infinite adjustability, so we can match the variation of products we're broadcasting across the country. Once they understand that, 
that the, the technology is there, the electronics, the hydraulics that give us the increased speed and the ballistics of the product to spread wider, they start to understand what our capabilities are and uh, with demonstrating and proving to them what we can do, um, they're buying into it and, and doing a very good job. Well, we talked about that reaction from Iowa. Let's uh, not let the Illinois Gove side uh, get, get right. by here, uh, Brendan. Uh, before we get started there, again, great to have you here. Let's talk Thank about you, uh, Lincoln Land FS and uh, your background as well. Yeah, yeah. I grew up on a uh, corn soybean operation there in central Illinois. Went to school there as well. And then actually here five years ago, got out of uh, college and, and went to work for Growmark and FS and has enjoyed every moment of it since. It's been uh, really rewarding for wow. us. Wow. And uh, again, I'm sure you're looking forward to this growing season as well. Yes, Tell us sir. about the area in the Illinois. You're, you're up around that Jacksonville area, yep, you told yep, me. Yep, just a little bit west of Springfield. Um, as these guys have pointed out, we got hit hard by the weather as well. Um, but we've seen the benefits there with with this post nitrogen and really agrotain as a product has really kind of changed the way myself and my growers think of applying nitrogen post um, being oh, at the farm gate yeah tell and, us about that and kind of talking to these guys every day you know we definitely need to see the need to develop a nitrogen strategy to allow us to cover more acres like these guys have been mentioning mm -hmm. but um, it uh, it definitely has benefited us kind of a uh, I guess a little success story there with a grower please is a uh, a guy that's around 1,200 acres, you know, pretty pro progressive grower, but we'd been struggling with some of these yields on some heavier soils, just didn't drain well. And, um, you know, with the use of Agritain Urea, we went out there and put 100 pounds on, 46 units of nitrogen, mm -hmm. and the results kind of spoke for themselves. Um, side by sides on, on certain different checks were anywhere from 16 to 26 bushel. And anytime you can put 20 bushel on a grower's bottom line, you know, it's a good day for everybody involved. Yeah. And and then uh, talking about some of the things that Craig just mentioned, too, the timing, uh, savings of time, and, and right, of course, right. uh, covering more acres. Uh, you and Iowa and Illinois, two two states where uh, producers know all about that. They're, they're kind of spread out in some cases, and time is money. Uh, boy, exactly. you talk about that, exactly. that is the case in states like Illinois. Exactly. I mean, short window patterns, just like you guys are, are saying with these weathers, and if we can get more acres done in a day, that's beneficial for everybody involved. And what's their reaction? I asked Craig the same question. When they see these this documentation and, and you know, of course, more bushels per acre, that's easy for them to right. decipher what that means. But right. do, are they buying into the whole thing about saving time and, and covering more acres and the fuel efficiency as well? Right, right. I'd say, you know, as far as getting the growers to adopt these practices, it really kind of goes into breaking down your nitrogen into several different applications to kind of curb some of the risks of what Mother Nature can do to us, as we've well seen. So if we can get that into these guys' uh, operation to where we're actually breaking that down, you know, it, it really comes secondhand. If we can go ahead and get this stuff done quicker with a urea agartane type product, sure. it's a no-brainer. All right, the need for speed, saving you time and money. That's what we're talking about here this spring using Agritain and all the great products that Josh and gentlemen have talked about here. We have a lot more to come, and we're going to be opening our telephone lines later this hour as well. So be writing down those questions for our panelists, put them to work here later this hour, and uh, hear from you around the country as you plan for this 2012 crop. You're watching RFD TV Live with Agritain right here on Rural America's Most Important Network. Thank you.